Hey everyone, if you are in crypto space, in this video, I will show you how to keep tracking your crypto portfolio in one place. So without further ado, let's get into it. CoinStats is a free cryptocurrency portfolio management and a DeFi wallet address. Basically, it's a crypto portfolio tracker, aka you can track monetary cryptocurrency stats and crypto prices. So you can use your local currency and sync your favorite exchanges and wallets automatically to your CoinStats portfolio, so you don't have to manually add your transaction. Thus, you can track and sync your entire cryptocurrency portfolio in a single app. Now let's go ahead and create an account. Go to coinstats.app or you can download the app into your phone or your laptop. Get started, create an account, sign up with an email write an email and password, create an account. I already have an account, so I'm gonna log in instead to my account. After you sign up and create an account, it's gonna be like this. So there is nothing here, no chart, no transaction, nothing, no holdings. So now I have an account with Binance, I have an account with KuCoin, I have an account with Gate.io. So all these portfolio, I can track them all together here. So for instance, let's take Binance. So if we click connect portfolio, you can search for any exchange, any wallet, MetaMask, Trust Wallet, uh, Bitcoin Wallet, Coinbase. So let's take Binance for example. Here it tells me the instructions, what to do and how to add it. Let's, we, we name it as Binance then we need to have API key and API secret. We go to our Binance account, then profile, then API management. After that, we label it as coin stats. You can label it any name, create API. Then you need to have verification code for your phone, email address, um, authentication code as well. So let me click and get send. I will type those numbers in and after you entered the code, now what we have, we have here API key and API secret key. Here as well, what we can do, I'm gonna uh, give permission to CoinStats only to read my transaction. So you can check those as well, but I recommend only uh, enable reading. So I'm gonna copy my API key go back to coin stats, paste it here, and then go back again to Binance, copy your secret word or key, go back to coin stats, paste it here. So I will select connect. It takes a few minutes. Um, I can connect my future account, saving account, isolate margin account, and spot account. I only need my spot account. So add account. Waited, wait for a few seconds. Now let's see my analytics. Here it's a, a cool feature. It says uh, my top gainer. I have BTC number one, Ethereum number two, and Solana number three. You can skip it, but if we go ahead and see the, the rest, my top uh, loser coins, these my coins that I'm currently losing money. Um, and then it says how much fee I have paid over time, uh, how much I have deposited, and how many trades that I did, and the amount of money that I withdraw. Now let's go ahead and add a new portfolio. For instance, I want to add my MetaMask. If you have multiple MetaMask, multiple um, accounts, you can add them all together here. So MetaMask and then MetaMask. I can name it MetaMask1, then connect, then it goes right away to my extensions that I added to my Google Chrome. Next, connect. Takes a few seconds. Okay, so added successfully. Let's see what's going on with my MetaMask. So it tells me I hold this much mo uh, money in my wallet. Okay, so after I have connected my Binance account, 
and my MetaMask wallet address to this app, you go to portfolio tracker and then you will see your entire holdings will be here. It has a nice feature. If you look at this right on the top, you can sync it all at this current moment. The numbers will be updated right away. Then if you select holdings, you can see everything that here that I'm currently holdings is from my Binance account. And then this table, you can customize it, which is pretty nice. If you select this three dots right here, you can customize your table. I can remove the market cap. Let's say I want to add a little graph um, and so forth. So it's basically a nice feature. Then if you select the swap, I don't recommend this. You can you can select the uh, the wallet and then you can swap from here, but I don't recommend this. Then if we go back again to all assets, then I select chart. This is the chart. It tells you how much you are holding. Uh, and then it tells you the percentage that current coins that you, are, you have in your portfolio, as well as the heat map. Here, the analytics, which is a nice feature, it tells you the most profitable coins that you have. Currently, my VTC, Ethereum, and Solana. And then this is my total trade. This is the total amount that I withdraw. This is the total fee paid and the exchange with Binance. You can add any other exchange as well, as I said before. So, and then if you go to the transaction, you can see my entire transaction will be here and you can customize it. You can put the date from which date to which date that you want to know and what type of, let's say, only the buy. If I will apply, this is my buy orders that has been filled with the exchange. And let's say if you want to check the deposit, take off the buy, apply. This is the amount that I have deposited and all type let's apply that and you can download export the csv as well then if we go to the open orders this is open orders that i have currently with binance i put this coin for sale with the price limit order and i put those orders for buy um, if the market drops so you can see and track them here you can switch your currency um, let's say I will choose Canadian dollar or you want to have Euro um, select any currencies that you are you like and you can choose what language you want and then if we go to live prices right away you will see uh, the total market cap for the entire crypto space it's three trillion dollar with the volume through 24 hours and then the BTC dominance. Um, it's a cool feature. And this is the all coins here. You can see the prices and so forth. There's a lot up to 205 pages over 20,000 coins. Then the exchange, every exchange exists in the world here. Uh, you can have your favorite, the DeFi, the head map again. Now, if we go to these three dots, you can see the alerts. Select the alert. Now I can customize and put alerts for me here. Let's say in terms of price limit, market cap, volume, let's say price limit and let's choose BTC or Ethereum. If we select Ethereum and then I will tell them, okay, the condition, if Ethereum increased or decreased by 10%, please notify me. So I'll put 10% and I'll put uh, a note for myself, buy. And then, okay, then I'll click save, we'll be right here. So if hit this condition then we'll, I will get notification um, for market cap as well you can do that for the volume particular coins and so forth go back again 24 hours report 
This is 24 hour cryptocurrency market report. It tells you the market cap, the volume, your portfolio, what's happening, the market overview, the top volume through 24 hours, and then top gainers, top losers, and the exchange. So another cool feature that CoinStats offer, it's a quick research that you can make a quick research about particular coin, whether you, you're holding that coin or you wanna search for that. Let's type BTC and then select BTC. Right, right away you can see the current price for BTC, the market cap, the circulation supply, the volume, the total supply. On the right, you can see the website, the community, and then the overview at the bottom with the chart and a little bit about BTC, how it works, what it is. Um, you can read about them more and the circulation supply, some insights as well. If you go up again, select the news, you can check the news that related to BTC and this week or today and the market that is listed and then holdings, whatever that you are holding with the current holding PL. And then it tells you if you have holding BTC in multiple exchange, it will be in multiple exchange right here. And then off chain data, a little more data. And then if you wanna add transactions, let's say you bought it in a particular exchange that is not here, um, you can add the date, time, and the amount and save it, whether it was buy or sell. So let's say cancel that one. This is it guys. I hope you guys got something out of this video. Thanks so much for watching. Peace.